Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in our computer organization that is instruction format and types of instruction codes. First, let us know about the instruction. What is meant by an instruction? So we know that every program that we are executing that will be done by the processor. Now, what is a program? So a program is a set of instructions, set of instructions, that means a group of instructions will be called as a program and this instruction means a group of bits, a group of bits that instruct the computer to perform a specific operation. So in order to uh, perform some specific operations, we need to represent that particular instruction with a group of bits, with a group of bits. So here, every instruction format is of 16 bit. So instruction format is represented with a 16 bit, right? So that means every instruction is represented with 16 bit and this 16 bit is divided into three groups so the first one is a mode which represents a mode which uh, requires a one bit to represent uh, this mode it requires one bit and the next one is op code which uh, so it requires a three bits to represent the op code and then address or operand, we can call it as an operand. For this, it requires 12 bits. So total 16 bits is used to represent any instruction, right? Now, see the instruction format will be in this way. So the first one, mode it's an op code address or operand address or operand so it requires 0 to 11 bits that means a 12 bits and from 12 to 40 so which is 3 bits and 50 so 1 bit for mode right this is a instruction format so this will be used, I mean, this will be represented with a group of bits. Okay, with a group of bits. So we know a bit is a 0 or 1. Now, coming to the mode. So mode means, so it requires 1 bit to represent. So if it is 0, it, it represents, I mean, it means it is a direct addressing mode. And if it is 1, that implies indirect addressing mode. So the, this mode represent uh, a single bit so which is if it is 0 we we'll call it as a direct addressing if it is 1 we call it as a indirect addressing so now what is a direct addressing and indirect addressing see for example if you want to perform some addition with a uh, data which is available in the accumulator so accumulator we call it as a general purpose register right see we will take an instruction here so 0 and uh, op code is an addition some 100 some 100 right see here the 100 is nothing but an address not an value it's an address so at that particular 100, we will be having the operand. That means a value. That means a value. So this will be added to the accumulator. Accumulator. Right? See. 
so which will be added to the operand and it will be stored to the accumulator so we call accumulator as a general purpose register right so this operation means adding adding ac 100 that means 100 will be added to the value of accumulator 100 means the address okay address 100 right so whatever the data which is available in 100 will be added to the accumulator and it will be stored in the accumulator itself so directly we are passing the address of the operand so that's why this is called as a direct addressing direct addressing because here the mode is zero so this is the instruction set so so th this will be 0 to 11 and 12 to 14 and this is a 15 right so this is the opcode and this is the operand or address address or operand we call it is now if you are going with the indirect if you are moving with the indirect so 0 add some 100 see this is the 100 address 100 and here we will be having the address of the operand that means indirect mode so similar to the pointer uh, concept right so the address stores the address of the operand so whatever the address we are giving in the instruction it will store the address of the operand right so here 100 is the address where 100 is having the address of the operand so here we are having operand right so this address of the operand is 1200 right so this is the address where we can get the address of the operand so this is called the indirect indirect and the rest of the things is common the operand value will be added to the accumulator and the result again will be stored <coughs> <coughs> The result will be stored in the accumulator itself so this is this type we call it as a indirect indirect okay so if if the operand i mean this 12 bit represents the address or operand that is called a direct and if it represents the address of the address of operand then we call it as a indirect so the first bit represents the direct and indirect that means zero if it is zero it is a direct and sorry if it is one it is an indirect addressing mode right? coming to the next one opcode so hope you understood about this mode right next one opcode so opcode means it is also a group of bits represents operation operation right so it requires the three bits three bits so here see what is the opcode here add add is the operation we want to do so add should be represented in the three bits add should be represented in three bits right so three bits the possibilities are from 0 0 0 2 0 1 1 so each and every code will be having the instruction right for example add it may be 001 and if you want to perform the end operation so here the operations can be arithmetic logical shift operations so any operation the operation can be arithmetic logical or a shift so that should be represented by using three bits okay these operations should be represented in three bits. So that we call it as an opcode. Opcode also called as operational code. So which operation we want to execute. Right. So that is the second one. That is the second one. And the third one is the address or the operand. Based upon our direct and indirect. It may have the address or the operand. Directly we can have the operand also. Right. Now. So I hope you understood this instruction format, right? So mode, opcode, and address or operand. The next one, the types of instruction codes. So there are 
mainly three types of instruction codes. See. Types of instruction codes. So first one, memory reference, memory reference instructions. So here, so whatever the thing we have seen just now, the same thing appears here. So I, I stands for more. The next one is a op code, which represents the three bits of uh, different operations, arithmetic logic or uh, shift operations. And here, it will be a memory address. So it represents 12 bits, it represents uh, 3 bits, and here it is a 1 bit. So this is a memory reference. And here the I can be 0 if it is a direct, 1 if it is a indirect. And the opcode up code can be 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 1. So each and every code represents a different operation. Next, the second category register reference of, of instructions. Register reference instructions. This is a memory reference and this is a register reference. So here also we can have the leftmost bit will always be 0 and the op code will always be 1 1 1 okay only one thing right and here the register operations so we'll use a different registers in order to save or do different operations we'll use the register operations but the representation bits representation is same so here it will be 0 to 11 that means 12 bits and this is for 3 bits and this is a 1 bit so this is a fixed, okay. The op code triple one with the leftmost bit with zero represents the register reference operations. Okay, so see here you can observe the op code in the memory reference. It's it ends with zero double one. Okay, if it is triple one, automatically it will be register reference. And if if the mode is zero, it will be the register reference. And the next one and the third one. Input output operations, input output instructions. Okay, the third category input output instructions, and here also the same. The mode is one, and the op code is triple one. And here, instead of register op operations, IO operations. So, directly the input and output operations that means. It will be happened here and here the representation is 0 to 11 that means 12 bits to represent the IO operations and 3 bits to represent the op code and 1 bit to represent the mode. So here the mode is always 1 and the op code is always triple 1. Okay, so you can observe this is common, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So, triple one zero, that means the op code triple one with a leftmost bit zero represents the register reference, and triple one with the leftmost bit one represents the IO instructions. And here they, there will be two different modes, so direct and indirect, and the op code will be from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 1. That is a memory reference. So, these are the different types of instruction codes. So, hope you understood this one. And uh, see here in, in this memory reference, the opcode value starts with 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 1. And if it is 1, 1, 1, if the opcode value is a triple 1, and based upon the mode, it will be either register reference or the IO instruction. Register reference instructions or the IO instructions. So because a triple 1 opcode is not meant for this, memory reference is not available in the memory reference right so hope you understood this instructions concept the basic uh, instruction what is meant by instruction so whatever the instructions we are uh, giving to the computer 
so that that is nothing but a group of bits that is nothing but a group of bits so that will be converted into a group of bits and then it will be get executed right so uh, let's stop here uh, so in this session we have seen what is meant by an instruction the instruction format and the different types of instruction codes so the different types of modes what is an op code what is an op rand so etc etc so let's stop here and uh, hope you understood this one in our next session we'll see more details about the instructions so what are the different instructions available in memory reference instructions register reference instructions and io instructions right so hope you enjoyed this session if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much